Ridge Farm. I am so glad that you're here. Today, I'm going to show you how to customize store-bought curtains. Come on, I'll show you how. This is the drapery before. Still super cute, but short and not a ton of detail. Wait until you see the after. I absolutely love these curtains, but they are just too short. So I bought an extra set of the matching curtains and I'm going to modify them. I love the fabric. I love the tassels, but they are just kind of plain. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cut off the bottom of the draperies with the tassel. I'm going to cut off 12 inches. I'm going to measure out my 12 inches and mark it on my fabric. And now, since I have striped fabric, it's going to be super easy to just follow the line and cut at it. The window in which I am hanging these drapes, I am going to need drapes that are 96 inches. These drapes only came in 84 inches. I know that it seems strange that means I need to make longer curtains that I just cut 12 inches off, but I have a plan for that as well. So I subtracted 12 inches from 84 inches and came up with 72 inches. Now I need to subtract 96 inches because that's my total length that I'm going for, minus the 72, and then I'm adding a couple more inches for seam allowances. So now I am going to cut out 26 inches out of my extra panel. So now I'm just going to measure my 26 inches and I marked it and now I am just going to cut it out. Now that I have all of my pieces together, I'm going to go ahead and attach them. So I'm going to put my, my right sides together. I have my right sides together, and now I'm just going to pin it together. And now that I have my pieces pinned together, I'm just going to go ahead and sew a straight seam. And now I'm just going to press my seams. And doesn't that look great? You can't even tell that I added on an extra length. Remember that 12 inches that I cut off? Now I'm going to iron it. The key to making things look beautiful and professional is to iron them well. And now I'm just going to turn under about a half an inch and iron it down. So now I have my lengthened curtain panel. This is the right side up. I have my top piece with my half inch folded under and pressed. And now I'm just going to lay it directly on top of my, my curtain panel and pin it. And now I'm just going to attach them. For the hem, you just want to roll down about a quarter of an inch and then fold that over to another inch and press it in. So it just looks like this. There's your folded over piece and then you fold over again for an inch 
and then you pin this and you just sew along this seam. It's that easy. And doesn't this look amazing? Let's go hang them up. it. Wasn't that so easy? And they look amazing. Don't you just love how the ceiling looks so much taller in here and the window looks so much wider? These simple tricks really make a huge difference. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I always enjoy our time together. Please follow me on facebook.com slash Peacock Ridge Farm on Instagram at Peacock Bridge, on Pinterest and YouTube. But especially, please follow me on my blog at PeacockRidgeFarm.com. Blessings to you.